They used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. Good morning. Welcome back to Crazy Joe's Concession Stand. I am your host, Crazy Joe, and we are here with another Blu-ray review, a physical media review of a release that's come out recently that I want to talk to you about. It was sent to me for review, so thank you to our friends at Universal and Sci-Fi for sending this my way. It is the complete series on Blu-ray for the first time. It's been available on DVD, but on Blu-ray for the first time, the complete series of Warehouse 13. Look at that. All 63 episodes on 15 discs. Now, if you're not familiar with Warehouse 13, this was a sci-fi series that aired for a number of years about um, some top-secret government agents who worked for a top-secret warehouse where the government um, stored away objects that had supernatural abilities. And these guys would go out, they would find them, uh, bag them. <laughs> what did they used to say? Snag them, bag them, and tag them. They would find these items that were uh, out there that were causing problems in the world, and they would lock them away in the warehouse. It was a really, really fun show. It lasted for five seasons. And, uh, yeah, you can now get the complete series on Blu-ray. I really liked this show. And, I, you know, it reminded me. It's the best place to put this. It reminded me of uh, an 80s show. There was a show back in the 80s that had a very similar premise. And uh, it also had the number 13 in the title. Friday the 13th, the series. Now, if you've never watched Friday the 13th, the series, you might be thinking, oh, Jason? Jason Voorhees? No. Uh, this series was Friday the 13th in name only. It really had nothing to do with the movies. It was about um, an antique shop where the owner was selling items that were cursed because he made a pact with the devil to sell cursed items. And he died and his niece and her friend inherited the business and they were going out and trying to recapture all the cursed objects and lock them away in a vault. So as you can hear, the, the premise is incredibly similar. Both shows are about a group of people trying to track down objects that have uh, supernatural abilities and lock them away. And, uh, is it a coincidence both have 13 in the title? I don't know. So there you go. If you liked Friday the 13th, the series, I think Warehouse 13 might be up your alley. Uh, Warehouse 13 is a little more whimsical and fun, whereas Friday the 13th did take more of a horror bent, but the premises are incredibly similar. Another similar show uh, to both Friday the 13th and Warehouse 13, there was a show a couple years ago called The Librarians. So if you saw The Librarians, again, another similar type of show to these. So what do you get on this Blu-ray? Well, you get you get this nice little slipcase. You get five discs, or yeah, well, more than five discs, five cases, 15 discs. And uh, get some handy-dandy bonus features. You get the holiday episodes. Quite frankly, I don't think the holiday episodes should be listed as bonus features. I mean, they were episodes of the show. If they weren't there, wouldn't you feel gypped? That shouldn't be a bonus. But you get the holiday episodes. You get animated web episodes. I never see those. I'm going to have to check those out. Uh, deleted and extended scenes. Gag reels. Episode commentaries with the cast and crew. The Eureka crossover episode crossing over. Technically, there's two Eureka crossover episodes. and. Uh, Warehouse 13, Behind the Shelves, uh, several featurettes, and much, much more. All right, let's take a look at these. I'll pull out Season 1. There's Season 1 of Warehouse 13. We got the episodes listed on the, on the case here. And we get... Three discs per season. You gotta if you're looking for a specific episode, you have to read the case to see which episode. Uh I recently did a, a video review of The Flash. I gotta say, I like what the Flash did better. The Flash put the titles of the episodes right on the disc, makes it a little easier. But still, it's fairly nice packaging, and that's what each season looks like. So that's season one. There's season two. 
season three. Season four. And the final season, season five. I interviewed two of the cast members on my old podcast. Two, uh, the two we have here on the end, Where are they? Allison Scaliotti and uh, uh, oh, geez, uh, Aaron Ashmore. He has a twin brother, Sean Ashmore. I was forgetting which Ashmore it was for a second. Aaron Ashmore. So yeah, I talked to both of them about the show while it was airing on the old um, podcast that I used to do. So there you go. Five seasons. Uh, this is, yeah, definitely worth picking up if you were a fan of the show. I feel the need to uh, point out, um, if you like Warehouse 13, this is really only one half of the Warehouse 13 uh, universe, because there's another TV show you can pick up on Blu-ray called Eureka. Uh, this this is out by Mill Creek Entertainment. It came out a couple of years ago. But Eureka and Warehouse 13 take place in the same shared universe. There is a crossover episode. Um, I pointed out all the special features that the crossover episode called Crossover uh, is included in this set. So you do get the Eureka episode in this set. Uh, but I don't think this set includes the Warehouse 13 episode. So there you go. Uh, but you can also pick up Eureka and then you have the full... Uh, Eureka verse, Warehouse 13 verse, whatever you want to call it. Technically, there is a third show in this universe. It's called Alphas. It was a superhero show. Didn't last quite as long. Wasn't quite as popular. And it was a little more loosely connected. There was only one character who was a minor character from Warehouse 13 who appeared in one episode of Alphas. So it's it's not as tightly connected. But there you go. You can pick these both up now and you got the full warehouse verse i really like the show uh i know the star of the show uh who played pete latimer uh and, and of course his name is escaping me right now how could that be eddie mcclintock eddie mcclintock has actually been calling on twitter for a revival so i think it would be a great idea i think uh you know uh universal nbc universal could revive this make it a peacock exclusive maybe I think it uh, would be great. I'd love to see where the guys from Warehouse 13, what they're doing now. Let's bring them back. Bring back Warehouse 13. I'm for it. So you can get this now. Thanks to Universal, and thank you to uh, uh, Universal Ad Sci-Fi for, for sending this my way. Uh, I definitely uh, really uh, dig this show, and this is something I would definitely recommend picking up for anyone who's a sci-fi fan, anyone who's a fan of uh, this series and if you've never seen this series but you are a fan of friday the 13th the series or maybe even the librarians this is a show in a very very similar vein i think you're gonna dig it all right everyone thank you and keep wearing those pajamas keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet keep wearing those pajamas tell everyone you need keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap Wearing those pajamas Don't open it to trap Oh no, it's a trap Some people call them bitches Some people call them jammies They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas But no matter how they look Just keep on wearing those pajamas Keep wearing those pajamas I know we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done